What's good, everyone? What's good? It's your boy JTL. Let's get it. So I keep seeing stuff with young ladies online, even older women that might be around damn 50 something. Still having the same conversation about ain't no man gonna control me and tell me what to do. I do it. I go. I blah. But it's like, okay, if that's the case, stay single. Like, it tripped me out. This girl I used to deal with, you know, we had a conversation on the book, on Facebook. And, you know, I I just was like feeling, all right, so this is what happened. She had something to say, right? She put a, she reposted a, uh, a post of somebody she knew saying yeah, this this is what women gotta pay attention it said these new age niggas so you gotta watch out for those those red flags these new age niggas want to tell you what to do they don't want you to have no family around friends around or being able to go out uh and being sexy and it's like i i could y'all come on man if y'all been watching my this page and my videos i've been putting up about this stuff you know i couldn't let that one slide so i was like why why y'all still having these little girl problems and complaints? If you were the real dude, he's not gonna want you moving a certain way. And if you handling your business like you should, he won't have to say nothing. If you moving like a grown woman, she come at oh, everybody ain't approved. You know what I'm saying? That's what she used to say to me. And it was like, I don't care. If you call approved being somebody who about handling their business, not playing fucking games and making you wonder or not if you can trust them, then I'll be there. And that's the problem with a lot of young ladies nowadays, especially. Because it's like, you mean to tell me being an adult is being improved? Like, it's more to it than just handling your business. You got to be trustworthy if you talking about being with somebody. But thinking that you can live single while being in a, a relationship or a marriage is, is going to mess up your relationships every time. And women don't think about that. It's like, what's the point of getting with somebody if you want to still move like you're not with somebody? Oh, you're not going to tell me what to do. Why should I have to? But if you mean to tell me, we get to this point where we say we love each other, we marry. Like, I see this one chick on a Fresh and Fit clip. And shout out to those guys. I watch their stuff. And, and you know, they got some good content. They be going in telling the truth. You know, you got a lot of simp ass, scary dudes out here that won't speak like they do, but we do over here on this channel. So this one chick was like, I don't like a man trying to tell me what to do. Like, my dude was like, you know, I like to drink. And my dude was like, babe, you shouldn't drink so much, you know what I'm saying, without drinking a good amount of water. What, you my daddy or something? It's like, hold on. Bitch, that's coming good sense. So she must be, like, still in her 20s or something. But for the people that know, when you do drink a lot, you should drink a lot of water. Like, it's already said that you should drink a good amount of water every day on the regular, especially if you work out. But if you drink a lot, you need to drink a lot of water. Simple as that. I know people, I know cats that drink, you know, sip a little water on the side while they drink it. That's good sense. So when you can't tell a woman something like that, even though y'all swear y'all love each other, that's when it's a problem. I'm, I'm talking about like stupid shit like that. Or like if your girl want to go out somewhere dressed in something, you're like, oh, hold on, man. I, I think that's a little too much. Oh, here you go being my daddy. And it's like, oh, okay. So I see you have no respect for me and, your, and our relationship. Okay. if you, Guys, if you ever dealt with that with a woman, dump her ass. Straight up and down. Do not fuck around and marry her. And if you marry her, you're fucked up. That is just common sense for respect for your relationship, bro. That's the problem. Women want to tease guys, but then want to turn around and holler about how guys, uh, you know, put their hands on women disrespectfully when they at the club. But you wearing a short ass skirt. And <laughs> we, we know how it is. I didn't see that before. I didn't accidentally done it. I said I go there to promote it. But how many of you guys ever been to a club, right? And... You passing my girl, she got a big booty. <laughs> and you make a mistake and bump on a booty. Like, I see guys, you know, grab a girl's butt and all kinds of stuff. And it's like, come on, man. I mean, it's disrespectful shit happen at the club all the damn time. 
You know what I'm saying? And you mean to tell me that that's the lifestyle you want? And that's what guys got to realize. When you deal with stuff like that, don't be with them women. Those are red flags. Anytime you hear a woman... Now, this is the oxymoron of it. This is how stupid a lot of modern, how modern women's ideas are these days. If you hear a woman say she don't want no man that trying to control her, but at the same time don't want a man that she can walk all over, leave that bitch where she's standing at. Leave her ass in the streets. Or if you was messing with her, throw her back in the water with the rest of the fish. Treat her like a trophy fish. Show her off. Uh, you know, let's see. I caught this. And throw that bitch back. Throw that marlin back in the water. Because she's stupid. That means she wants conflict. You got females out here that like conflict like that. And that's just ignorant. Like, guys, really think about how stupid that shit is. I don't want a guy that's going to try to control me, but I don't want a guy I can walk all over. That means y'all going to be in conflict all the time. I've dealt with women like that. I dealt with women who act like they they so classy and dignified, but then they still do and say certain things that make you look at them side eye like, hold on, bitch, I don't think I can trust you. So that's what we got to do as men. And that's what, you know what I'm saying? Our entire channel is not straight up the manosphere, but it's, it's basically black manosphere. You know what I'm saying? Where we may talk about relationship stuff, but we, we talk about stuff that goes on in the black community. So it's not just relationship stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been talking about it a lot lately. You know what I'm saying? But it's just because I see it a lot lately. And it's just like, I got to get my two cents on it. You know what I'm saying? We got to talk about it over here. But, of course, we're going to be talking about other things. Um, God willing, tonight we're going to have a show for y'all. So, y'all definitely check that out later on. But, you know, we'll be going live. But, guys, it's on us to be more careful, be more sensible and smart in how we move and how we choose partners, man. You got to watch out for red flags and those signs. Don't try to change a woman. When it comes to you teaching her anything, the only thing you should have to teach a woman, preferably, is your likes or dislikes so she know how to move. But that woman is willing to ask you those things, be concerned with those things about you. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure if you're trying to find a relationship to grow into some serious marriage or whatever, you're doing your best to be intrigued by a woman and do those same things for her. So, yeah, you should want that in return because you're doing it. Not, oh, I'll start when she starts. No, it's we giving and taking, giving and taking, giving and taking. You know what I'm saying? But if you run into a woman that has that mindset, I just want to go out, be sexy with my friends. You can't trust that bitch. I'm sorry. She's for the streets. Let these heifers buy a dog and live alone. Be on their own. Don't try to change them. You know what I'm saying? I made that mistake. And I had three adult relationships in my life. You know what I'm saying? As an adult, three. And I'm thankful I didn't go past that because now I'm more choosy and picky. And when they say relationships are reflective they are which means i've chose poorly in my past with the three relationships i've had because i should have been married you know what i'm saying i'm the type of guy that can't be in a marriage i ain't trying to just you know other guys out there we got some take a little longer to learn you know what I'm saying? same may have to learn not to you know be cheating and you know what i'm saying and, and be more concerned and be more involved and more better at communication and stuff like that you know it takes time for you know what I'm saying for guys to learn it you know what I'm saying? Thankfully, I've never, I just never been that type of guy that was, you know, on those wrong thing. Not saying I was perfect. But when, and this is another one more thing for when it comes to guys. And this is what women don't realize. If guys, especially, have lived in their life, you know, kind of being a player and, you know, doing that type of stuff, when they get ready to be serious, of course they don't want a woman that's like they pass. Why, why would you want a woman that moves how you used to move? That's counterproductive. So these modern age women that don't get it and think a man just want to run them and all that, it's boundaries. I shouldn't have to tell you don't go to the club all the, all the time. I shouldn't have to tell you don't wear that type of dress. I shouldn't tell you don't talk like that, don't act like that, don't move like that. You know what I'm saying? And what women don't realize is another thing. If a man is like a woman that's like that, nine times out of ten, he's still immature. Let's just keep it all the way up. But if a guy still moves like that, he's going to cheat on you. He's going to be untrustworthy. I'm sorry. I'm just keeping it around. I ain't trying to put my fellas down, but we got to keep it real. Let's keep it a bean. We already know as men, if we move how these modern women move, we're not trustworthy. We know that's the truth. We already know, like, if 
I'm worried about trying to look good, be out here on the scene and going out. Oh, I got to hang out with my boys. Come on, man. We already know what time it is. If we not guys that's on our purpose, hey, yo, I done had my fun in my 20s. Now, I'm trying to get serious, get my money right, you know what I'm saying, or, or grow my business, start and grow a business. God willing, I want to have a, a great wife, a down woman, and you know what I'm saying, raise a family, put together a legacy, build something in my name and for my family. We ain't got time to be hanging out with our boys all the time. We ain't got time to be clubbing all the time. We got to put that work in. We ain't got time for that. So if you run into a woman, you think she's a nice woman, but then she starts showing you those signs, get the fuck away from her. Don't try to make her change or nothing. Pay attention. Ask the questions when you're vetting them to know them. Make sure they ain't so worried about their friends all the time, hanging out all the time. Or oh, I got to go look sexy and all. Be careful about that. Make sure you pay attention. Don't try to change. Like when I hear old a woman need to do this and you should be able to train. Fuck that. Leave that bitch to the streets. And I'm sorry, but I ain't talking about a real woman. I'm talking about a bitch, a undercover thought. I'm talking about the type of trifling ass women that will break your heart if you let them. All right? It's your boy JTL, opposite from the norm. Make sure y'all, you know, check in later on. We're going to have a, a live tonight for y'all. So I'll be back. Chip.